So today I'm going to talk about device compatibility. Let's say I make my little game. I have a button here and maybe that brings up a shop or something and I need it. And I have these little pellets here and they update my leaderboard with points. I go to play. And I can press my button and that makes the frame go away. And I can pick up my, my pellets and I'm getting points. Cool. Life is good. I publish my game. All of a sudden I start getting thumbs downs and I don't know why. So then I discover when I play it on my phone, press that iPhone seven, where did my buttons go? Where did my UI go? When I play it, I don't even see my leaderboard. Unfortunately for the leaderboard, there is no leaderboard on some devices and the iPhone is one of them. So you have to make your own UI. That's too bad. Um, we can go to, let's go ahead and turn this off. Let's look at a couple of these settings. You have three choices here. You have physical size, you have actual resolution. I usually use fit to window. That's usually good enough for me. Things will start failing pretty quick when you start trying different devices. Let's see, there's Xbox one. Oh, it's way up here. That's no good. Xbox one does have a leaderboard though. It just doesn't look that good. Unfortunately, we don't have a lot of control over the leaderboard. We do have a lot of control over the UIs. So you might have to make your own UI. But if this is disappearing, it makes you a little bit nervous about that, doesn't it? Well, let's go back. Let's turn off our emulator. Just click on it again. And let's take a look at our UI. Let's go to starter GUI, screen GUI, and frame. If we go to frame, Let's go down to position and I expanded it out. You can expand it with the X with your little arrow on your X. You have something called scale. And you have something called offset. Offset is the pixels um, where you're placing your anchor point. Here's my anchor point right here. So I'm 445 pixels out on the X axis based on this point. And what am I at? down here 399 down this way well we don't want pixels we want scale so i'm going to say zero on the x and 0.5 for scale on the x that should put it halfway on the parent object which is my screen GUI, which is this whole thing it's not quite halfway because my anchor point is here let's move the anchor point to the center of the frame but more specifically down here, because I want to get this close to the bottom. Let's go to anchor point. We'll say 0.5 and one, because in the when you're working with GUIs, uh, the higher the number it goes is going down. So it starts at zero up here and it goes down. So this is zero, this is one. You're talking about percentage, uh, decimal percentage from zero to one. All right, let me get this down lower. Let me look at my Okay, so here is my Y on my position. I go to my position, go to Y, I hit a zero. And scale, let's make a 0.98, which is pretty brave, right? It's right down by the bottom. Let's take a look on our phone. That's Xbox One. That's looking good. Xbox One's not looking bad. Phone, it's not bad, but it's too big. Let's change that. Let's look at our size. Size is the same thing. I'm giving it absolute pixels. Let's make it percentage of the screen. So 0.3 is 30% of the screen of the parent object, which happens to be the screen in this case. Zero offset. And let's make a 0.2. Oh, now my button's messed up. Let's take a look at that. Let's go to button. And here's my anchor point on my button. I'm going to put that anchor point right dead center. Let's go to anchor point, 0.5 and 0.5. And my scale, let's make that 0.5. So it didn't have any pixel offsets here. So that's good. 0.5. That's better. All right. And one thing you have to worry about with button, text. If the text is too close to the edges, and you get a smaller um, screen, 
you want to make sure that your text, that I lose it, oh, here's my text, is text scaled. So it's big here, but at least it'll shrink down when you're on uh, different devices. If you use a font size, that's going to give you absolute pixels. So you could run into trouble with that. Now let's look at our phone. Oh, it's so much better. Ooh, look at that. Let's look at our button size. We did position, but did we do button size? I think we missed it. Let's go to size. No, we missed it. So offset is 200, zero, and I'll say 0 0.6, 60% of the frame is the parent, uh, parent object, and offset, and scale, they got 60% of the frame. There we go. Now let's check our phone. Sweet. All right, we'll go to play. Cool. Now I still don't have my I still don't have my um, leaderboard. There is no leaderboard for the iPhone. You'll have to use the GUI. But now that you know all about how to make GUIs compatible with different screen sizes, you should be a lot better off. Let's take a look at our Xbox. Oh, I gotta turn this off and turn that back on. Go to Xbox One. There we go, getting burned out there. Here's my button. There's my pellets. The leaderboard is back. My button still works. Good. All right, so that should help you out a little bit. And let me know if you have any questions.